Hey guys, this is Bill back at the wall of tools and today I have my fifth child here with me, Benjamin. Ben, do you want to say hi? Hi. So Ben wanted to join me on this video. I don't know that he's got a ton that he wants to contribute, but he wants to be here as a helper. So Ben's going to be joining us as we review the four cycle gas Husqvarna string trimmer. All right, so first things first, let's talk a little context. Yesterday, I uh, reviewed the Ego string trimmer with you guys, um, and that is the electric string trimmer, and I absolutely love it. It is a stud, it is a monster. I truly think that uh, it can be the only string trimmer that you have, and that's phenomenal, even with a property as big as ours. This is my old one, and it is awesome. Um, so this is a four cycle, which means it uses regular gas like you would use in your car, um, and then it also has an oil tank as opposed to a two cycle, like a, like a chainsaw or a leaf blower. I mean, you have four cycle versions as well um, that just use the pre, you pre-mix your oil and gas. Um, so four cycle is a little more convenient because filling it up, you don't have to do anything. You don't have to mix. You don't have a special gas. If you have a regular gas can that you use to fill up a riding lawnmower, boom, you're off to the races. Um, and this thing is nice. Like Husqvarna makes a really nice product. It looks cool. Um, it's super powerful. So this is the 324L uh, model. And I don't know their models super well. You can look up which, you know, engine displacement, other things like that. Um, this one is, was well reviewed online, which is why I got it. Um, and it is super powerful. It's, I use the term lightsaber of weeds. Um, and it is, you just go, mew, mew, mew. It's, it's great. It's quieter because it's four cycle. Um, I, like I said, I've shown you guys my like ear protection setup in the past. I mean, you really can listen to audiobooks and podcasts while you do it. This thing is, is awesome. Um, I think the tank is maybe a little small, but again, when you're carrying something, you've got to worry about weight. And so it's just a clear trade off, right? Like, do you want a longer runtime before you have to fill up? Okay. Well, you're going to need to carry that extra liquid weight. Um, just logistically here. Um, it's got all the it's got all the features you'd want. So I'll just turn around and show you here. Um, obviously, you got your pull start. This pull starts very nicely, very easily. Uh, I really like that about it. Um, you got your gas can here. You got your go trigger with trigger lock. You got your stop button. Really, I I don't know that I can point to a single tactical feature and say this is something this has that doesn't. You can see it's got an oil um, an oil uh, reservoir as well, just because this is the four cycle model. So, uh, flipping around, I don't know if we'll call this the business end, we'll call it the cutting end. Um, this is, to me is where it goes a little off script for me. Uh, instead of the standard attachment, uh, instead of standard string trimmer attachment, I have power rotary scissors here. Um, and this I think is the exciting part of this device. This is a great device. Um, if, you have, if you want a gas string trimmer, Definitely consider it, it's awesome. But this part right here is where I think it gets really cool. So these are power rotary scissors. Uh, I found them on Amazon and they are kind of expensive on Amazon. Um, I may not have gotten the best price. I think they were like 170 or 200 bucks. Like they were they were almost the price of a new string trimmer. Maybe, maybe the full price, I haven't checked in a while. Um, these things are really cool though, I will say. Um, so since you don't have the string, spinning around, right? And you just have these blades that sort of uh, oscillate back and forth and they make a cutting motion within this, or a cutting surface within this radius. Um, this is really easy to trim around hard objects. So for example, you've got a, um, we have a playground in the middle of our lawn. I can mow right up to the barrier of the playground um, and I always have to string trim. There's no way to, to get it perfect. Um, and so it doesn't get done very often. And then we have uh, pretty tall weeds there and in kind of a line around the playground. Um, and you've kind of got to be careful too, because once you have tall weeds, if you just, um, if you just trim them down in every which way, you'll actually spit some of the weeds into the playground that has rubber mulch. You got to pick it out. It's a huge, it's a huge thing. This is amazing because, because you can, um, push it right up against the edge of the, the barrier and you can feel that physical resistance, you're basically just dragging it along an edge and it is cutting perfectly along. I don't quite know how they do it. Like I certainly wouldn't put a, uh, Here's what I found. put, I certainly wouldn't put it against a fine China or something like that. But um, this thing doesn't, doesn't damage the, the edge of the playground, which is really cool. 
Um, so, sorry, I've lost my train of thought. Um, it doesn't damage the edge of the playground. It will nick it a tiny, tiny bit, but for the most part, it leaves the hard object intact and then just takes the grass around it, um, which is really nice because sometimes with a string trimmer, if you got that thing going really fast and you bring it into something, you'll actually like, uh, you'll actually like leave mini gouges in the wood or in the in the rubber barrier, like whatever it happens to be. Um, and this thing is much more controlled. It's just really easy to see right where that edge is and you can put it against the edge, cuts the weeds, doesn't cut, the thing that you're trying to trim against. Um, it obviously doesn't have, I mean, it spins, but it doesn't have have um, things in variable directions. It's a very controlled uh, radius. I really like these two. They're super sharp. They just go through um, heavy brush. It kind of feels like a heavy brush cutter. So if you have something that's just absolutely thick, 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 thick weeds, you kind of just go like this and it's almost like a, like a side. Truly, like it just cuts it. Um, and then what, what really ends up happening is this thing is just covered on all sides, except for the blade, with weed, and you kind of have to shake it off a little bit. Um, not a problem, not a complaint, but it is just that smooth when cutting. Okay, so where this thing really, really slays is edging, right? I talked about the playground. Around sidewalks, you can push it against the concrete, and again, you're not damaging your line or shredding your line, you're not nicking the concrete, and it will just give you a perfect edge. And then because it's kind of hard and you can adjust the angle, right? So you could be like, I'll try to show you. This is obviously not natural, but you could trim like this. You can adjust the angle, right? And so you can, as you're trimming against the edge of your like sidewalk or driveway, you can literally define like at what angle. Do you want it to be straight up and down? Do you want it to, do you want to kind of round that edge? Like you literally have that much control. Um, and these things are, they're awesome. And so, I, I honestly, in where I am, I think two string trimmers is a bit of a stretch. I don't quite need it. Um, I said in my previous video, the electric is truly my go-to, uh, but this is a really nice sort of counter note. Um, and there are times when these rotary scissors are just amazing. I think a challenge would be, I'm trying to think of a situation where this might not be as, as smooth. Um, I've, ne I've not replaced the blade, I will say that. I'm sure it's quite a bit more expensive than just throwing some new line in, right? Like you've got to order something, it's like a totally new, it's like a totally new part that you're, you're then replacing. Hmm, what else? Um, I, I just said on my Ego, this the uh, cutting swath on the string trimmer was 16 inches. This is not, this is probably 12. So you are losing a little bit of, um, a little bit of cutting width. But in general, these things are these things are really awesome. They work super well. Um, you just have a lot of control. Um, you do occasionally like like you could scrape the bottom of it when you're when you're trimming, say, along concrete. But that's not unique. Um, and in fact, this the bottom of this, if you look, sticks out very little compared to the blade. Right? You're cutting I don't know a quarter inch above the bottom. Right? So you can cut really low. Whereas on a string trimmer, you have that big ball below. Um, that kind of holds all the excess line. And so that you actually can't cut quite as low without really angling it over. Um, so these are just a really, really cool product. Um, I think I saw somebody review it and I was like, man, I'll give that a shot. And I thought it was a little bit of a gimmick, but it's actually really cool. Um, other thing I forgot to mention is that I did have to install this myself. So I didn't buy a string trimmer like this. I had the Husqvarna. You take off the end and then you put this puppy on. Um, it was about 10 to 15 minutes. Um, I tend to be a little slower. Like if something says it's 20 minutes, it takes me 25 minutes. So it was about 10 to 15 minutes for me. I'm sure there are folks that are just a little more on the ball that could probably do it in five to 10, no problem. Um, so just keep that in mind. But, but really cool product. I got it on Amazon. I think uh, it's probably not the best place to get it. I'm sure you can find them other spots. Um, but it was really, really cool. And uh, give it a shot. It looks funky, but it works. And and again, like I mentioned too, since it's an aftermarket part, you can really put it on any string trimmer. Like the fact that I have it on this type of Husqvarna gas, four cycle, blah, 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 does not matter. This is, um, this could go on the electric. It could go, uh, it could go on numerous things. So um, it's just, just really cool tool in the tool belt. Super functional for edging, trimming. Uh, yeah. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Uh, hopefully, hopefully you find value in here and I will talk to you tomorrow.